So now let's talk about this uh, discovery service. So just now we have seen how shopping cart microservice is communicating with product uh, microservice, right? Where we have hard coded the URL for this product microservice, right? Now what if for some reason, if I want to deploy this product service on some other host with different address, then how shopping cart will know, right? To solve such kind of problem, we have service discovery pattern. Okay, so in this pattern, multiple microservices register themselves on the central server. So we call that central server as the service registry or discovery service so now once that service is registered itself with the service registry then two things will happen so the first one is that service details like name port host and all are stored in the service registry and second a list of other register services became available to it so where other services are deployed so that service will know those informations so let's create this discovery service and how my shopping cart service going to identify where my product microservice so let me create my discovery service the group name i'll keep dev to prod the artifact name i'll say discovery service and the package i will say discovery so for the dependency if you type eureka so you see we have this eureka server and eureka discovery client so right now we are creating this server right so we will be using this eureka server dependency and for all other microservices we are going to use this eureka discovery client so let's generate our project now let me import this discovery service to my id so i have imported this discovery service in my id so let's go to our main class first okay before that in the pom.xml you can see we have this dependency started dependency for my eureka server and spring cloud dependency so let's go to our main class so here we need to add one annotation to make this a eureka server so that is enable eureka server so by adding this we are making this pro service as a eureka server so this is one change and another change in the properties file so just for a change let's uh, create a file application.tml and in this we are going to add couple of properties so let me add those so the first property is uh, server port so I want to make this application up and running on 8083 and other properties are related to that uh, Eureka server. So the first is Eureka client service URL default zone. So this is the URL where our Eureka is up and running. We need to pass this URL to our Eureka server as well as uh, Eureka clients. Other than this, we have this fetch registry and register with Eureka set to false so whenever we are working with the eureka server we, we need to make these two things false because register with eureka what uh, this property by doing false will stop uh, registering this eureka server with itself right by default it is true so by whenever we want to register some service to the eureka server we make it true other properties fetch registry so by doing this flag false we are just restricting this service to register itself in eureka as well as to fetch details of other services right so if this fetch registry is set to true that means this service can get all the registry information of other services that are present in the eureka server since this is a eureka server we don't want these two so we are setting these two false to have your eureka server only these two changes are required so let's go ahead and start our application now you see my application is up and running on 8083 port so now let's go to my browser and we'll try to hit this url so it is up and running on 8083 now you can see console so basically this is a eureka server console so where we have couple of uh, details so right now uh, we haven't any service which has registered itself with the eureka so once we have uh, those uh, services registering themselves with this eureka server uh, we are going to see those services details here so let's go to our uh, product service and try to add uh, and try to register this product service with this discovery service okay so very first thing what we have to do we have to just add the dependencies so let me just copy paste from discovery service so the very first thing we need this eureka dependencies so i will add them so this is not a server so this is a client so i will change it to client okay so all other services which are registering to eureka server becomes the client eureka client okay so this is the first thing second we need to pass this spring cloud dependency in under dependency management so i will add them and now we have to define the version which version of spring cloud it's going to use so i'll just copy paste okay we have to go to our uh, application class and here we have to use annotation call at the rate enable discovery client okay so we are making this product service as the eureka 
discovery client okay and the second thing what we have to do is we have to go to the properties file and we have to add two things so the first is my application name so i am assigning some name to my application so i'll say product service so why we need this name here so when this service registers so this name you will see there and the other property is that the service url eureka and i will pass the url for my eureka server where my eureka server is up and running okay so only these the details are required to make this a eureka client so let's try to boot our application and if this product service get registered with eureka server okay now you can see uh, my application is up and running on 8081 so let's go back to our eureka server console and see so now here you can see product service is now registered with eureka so this is the application name whatever that we have configured in spring.application.name and here you can see the status is up so that means that service is up and running and these are the instance details so it is running on 8081 port so let's go ahead and do the same change in my shopping cart as well okay so i have added the same dependencies the eureka client dependencies and in my application i have declared at the rate enable discovery client so other than this let's go ahead and add those properties so i am starting my shopping cart service application now now you can see my application is up and running on 8082 so let's go back to our console and try to refresh i can see now my shopping cart service also got registered on this eureka okay so now the both the service are uh, up and running and are registered with eureka server right now let's try to call this product service from shopping cart service using eureka server so basically this shopping cart uh, service will get the details from the eureka server where my product service is deployed and based on that it will make a call to that service so in order to do that we have to do a couple of changes so if i go to my shopping cart service here you can see we are passing this hard code url right uh, http localhost 8082 where our product uh, service is up and running right so we need to get this detail from the eureka server so how we are going to do that so the first thing is so we are making this call using web client right so whenever web client make a call to this product service we will tell the web client when you make a call to product service just get the details from the eureka server so for that go to our application service my application class and here let me create a bean of my web client first okay first i will create a bean so public web client dot builder it's my return type i will say it get web client and what it will return it will return with the object of web client dot builder okay so now i have to use this so i have to create the bean so i will use at the rate bean annotation and now i will define the name to this bean so i'll say web client okay now we have created this web client object so there is one more annotation we have to use is load balanced so by using this load balance annotation what internally basically it will do whenever we are trying to make call to any service so basically it will get the details from the eureka server as well as it will load balance the request for example if we have multiple instances of our product service then automatically it will load balance it to the other instance okay so now we have created this bean so let's go back to our shopping cart service so along with this auto add i will use at the rate qualifier to use the bean that i have just created in an application class and instead of passing this localhost and this port what i will do i will pass my application name so what it will do from the eureka server it will get the details from this product service so why we are giving this product service because we have registered our product service with this product service name to check what we can do we can add some system out print uh, statement here so i can show you that uh, yes it, it is making call to our product service via discovery service and also let me print the list of product that we are getting from product service okay so let's try to reboot our application and see if we are able to hit our product service from our shopping cart server so now you see my service is up and running on 8082 so let's go back to our postman so in this uh, api we are making call to our product service for another user say with user id 41 i want to have this one quantity two quantity and i don't want to have this third product so let's try to hit and see 
yes we are successfully able to create the record now here you can see we have this product list as well so this product list we are getting it from our product service so let's go back to our id and see whatever we added so here you can see this is the url that we have used and this is the product list that we got from our product service okay so that means we are able to hit our service so one more thing so let's try to restart uh, our product uh, service on some different port right so let me stop my product service i will go to the properties file of my product service where i will change the port id so previously it was running on 8080 if i make it zero that means whenever my application is booted so it will start my application on some random port okay so let's try to start our product service on some random port okay so my service is up and running we'll go to the eureka server console now here you can see product service is registered on some random port so the random port is 50190 okay let's go back to our postman okay for 42 user i want to have total five quantity of product one and then the nine quantity of this let's try to hit and see if it works yes you can see i'm able to create the record successfully if i again go back and i'll show you the shopping cart logs so here you can see a shopping service is successfully able to call and get the product list okay even though this time the product services was running on some other port but uh, with the help of this eureka server shopping cart service can get those details and make a call so this is all about uh, this uh, discovery service so in this video we have seen like how to create this discovery service or eureka server and how to register our microservice with this eureka server and how my shopping uh, microservice is communicating with product service with the help of discovery service even though we have uh, deployed this product service on some random port still my shopping service is able to make that communication uh, without any error using discovery service okay so that's it for this uh, discovery service in the next part we will see about this gateway clearly how to set up this gateway how to integrate it with discovery service and we will pass the request and how gateway will route the request to our microservices so see you in the next video thanks